Good day students. In today's tutorial we're going to cover where the project files have moved to. Part of the integration between OKU and construction, all our files will be moved to a central file location called BS Arc Third Year Documents. So this library, there's a separate team that will, this library will be located. However, I have provided a link called project data where you can access these files just remember this has been removed so you get a drawing section so here you can get all the current drawing information that I'll be, will be sharing with all of you okay so that's going to be where we're going to get all the drawing information okay you'll see that I've also given you some QGIS and format folders that we can use but please just link the drawing information and remember to add a shortcut so you're going to click on this icon to create the shortcut to your computer so this is important okay all right so in files I've also provided a link you'll just have to keep navigating through this is like you're on the site itself and you can see you can access the project data Victoria then you can access um, the information there so it'll be project data Cape Town drawings and here you're going to get all the updated information please note that I've updated the site context model and the civil model for the time being I'll consistently work these up so that they are a bit more refined but just remember this is where you're going to get all the information you can also go to the BS Arc team itself if you are part of this team you can go to students you can go to files and here you can simply go and link the data as well so project data Cape Town drawings and remember you can link the information I would create this drawings and create a link in your okay your own okay folder where you can access this the whole time so just remember we are all using the same database okay so if you're not part of the BS arc third year please make sure that you get access to it or alternatively you can use the okay 300 link go to support and here in support you're going to go to files and remember you can access it over here students you can access it from the side so students project data okay Victoria or you can simply use it at the top so you can use the next to the BIM library project data okay here you can just simply add this link Cape Town or you can simply link this information so drawings this is what I'll do is I'll link this drawings folder I'll create this new link I have deleted this class file so please understand that that has happened all right so if you've linked these project these files into your Revit project so we'll need to go and fix that information so we need to open up Revit very quickly now you notice that when you notice when you load Revit just remember when you add this as a shortcut I have added this as a shortcut already so if you go to my OKU folder and I go to project examples and I go to OK 300 Cape Town you'll notice that I've put the Cape Town folder here and here's all of these drawings that are now referenced on the BS Arc third year okay so we're gonna have to link all this information from here okay so my Revit project so I've been saving these on my OneDrive so I'm gonna go and say open the first project I'm gonna open is the site 2 so I'm gonna go open this is my file just remember yours will be named differently so I've got the project examples link so my OneDrive my project examples folder I've I've dragged and dropped it over here as a short link okay 300 I'm gonna go to Cape Town Cape Town data drawings okay so this is where I need to access all this information but first need I need to open up my project my Revit site 2 and I'm gonna open my Revit site 2 okay take this will take a couple seconds now that Revit has loaded you'll see that there's some problems with links okay so we need to fix this so I'm gonna say ignore and continue opening project the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to manage I'm gonna to go to manage links now I'll need to start so if we go to CAD you'll notice that these are no longer found so we need to go and relink those okay so you if you've linked your civil drawing and you've linked the sign context we need to go and reload these files okay nothing has changed you just have to find the new link so you're gonna click on the civil drawing first of first of all so first of all the civil drawing you can go and say reload from 
and here you simply gonna navigate to where you've shared that shortcut so you might find just remember this is a link that you moved you need to move to the right location so you need to go to okay you so wherever you've put this file so mine is in this example files okay 300 Cape Town and here's my Cape Town drawings so here you can see I'm gonna reload my civil drawing from this new location press open Okay, and I'm going to say give it a couple seconds it might have to download using OneDrive there it's reloaded my site context model that format model reload from so we're going to follow the same procedure and you would have noticed because it understood so if I went it will know that these files are in the same folder all of a sudden so just remember Revit examples on incorrect folder so okay you project examples okay 300 Cape Town Cape Town again, drawings, and then here's my site context model. Okay, so I'm going to reload that. Open. And you'll notice it'll take a couple seconds. There it's reloaded. Okay, press OK. Now if I go to my site plan. Now, just to let you know, so if I go to 3D view, you would have noticed this all would have loaded in. However, if we go to site or site working, it doesn't matter which one we go to. So let's just go to site working. And in site working, remember, I'm going to put this on wireframe so I can see everything. One thing to bear in mind is that the civil model has been updated. So everything is square. So the site boundaries are no longer at weird angles. Everything is square. We've decided to do this just so that it makes the working in Revit a lot more accurate. And you'll notice that the site model that I've used as a link is no longer matching that. So you, remember your site drawings, you'll have to go and fix these up to match the site cadastral information based on the civil drawing. Okay, so let me just quickly hide this, this file. So I'm going to switch this off. So hide element. And you'll notice these are links that are coming in. So this is an in-place model. Remember that. So this I can simply hide as well. And there's a mass from that other file. So I'm going to go to manage, manage links. Just remember, I brought my building model back. I'm going to unload this for the time being. So I'm just going to unload, press OK, press OK. All right, so let me just switch off my masses as well. Ah, OK, so that line is it's basically I have cut so if we go to 3D view, I've cut a basement in. Okay, so just remember that's what I'm seeing if I go to site working. Now you'll notice that this has changed. So the site boundaries have changed somewhat, so I'll need to fix that. So the first thing I'll do very quickly in this file is try and select my, so if you tab a couple times, you should be able to get the, okay, it's not always the case. Just remember, switch off this drag tool. That's important because there you see it try to drag so if I select everything and I go to my filter, check none, I want to edit my pads to match. So my pad needs to match my site topo that I've linked in DWG file. So you'll notice that we've addressed the slightly off angle lines and we've rounded everything off to a round number. Okay, this is quite deliberate because it'll just make working in Revit very difficult. So I'm going to get rid of this line. I'm going to get rid of all the line work. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish some new line work and I'm going to use the snap end tool. SE my keyboard, just watch my keystroke snap end. I'm just retracing the extent of the topography or the, sorry, the site extents. Snap end. When lines are very close, just be careful. You don't want inaccuracies. Snap end. Snap end. Snap end, snap end, hover on the line, snap end. Good, and then now you can simply press S Z to close. Okay, my oh, bad it didn't. So I'm gonna go snap end, snap end, hover over there, uh, S E again, and then snap on that end there. This should be a closed loop. Now I've fixed you would notice you've noticed now that my pad now follows and I've addressed the hole in the ground okay this model has also been rebuilt so that you'll notice that it'll actually line up perfectly with the model information so I've even squared off the existing model buildings 
for the time being as well. So this site context, I've also fixed those as well. So remember, you need to reload the format model and you need to reload the civil drawing. Okay. Now that I've fixed this information, I'm simply going to save this project file. Okay, now I can simply close this for the time being. Close the whole project and I'm going to go and open up my building project now. Because I'm working in the same area, I can go to OK300, okay, Cape Town. I'm going to work on my own Revit files for now. I'm going to say project site. So building setup. I'm going to open that up. So I'm going to say open manage link so you can do this as well. This is going to tell you where the, the errors have occurred. So I'm going to simply select this civils drawing and just make sure if there's any other objects that need to be relinked in. Okay, so here I'm going to go and say reload from. Here I'm going to go and find that folder again. OKU, project example files, OKU 300. Cape Town and then Cape Town drawings and then here's my civil drawing open. Fantastic. Press OK. Good. Site. Now we have to address an issue. Remember we've established our project north so we need to fix that. So I'm going to remove that information. I'm going to go to manage links and I'm simply going to unload the site model for the time being. That's fine. So press OK. Good. Now I need to fix my project north. So I'm going to make sure that there's no more reference planes. Now I'm going to go to architecture. I'm going to create a whole new reference line. I'm going to use the snap in command. So I'm going to snap from in there and snap end over here. Good. Now I've created a new reference line. I need to go back to manage. I need to go to additional settings. Sorry manage position rotate project north align to selected levels or lines i'm going to use that reference plane and here you can see that it's rotated i'm going to press ok now i have fixed this however the section lines that you've created now will probably will be inaccurate so i would delete all your section lines you can re-establish them the last thing i will quickly do is you'll notice that these views are not orientated to the correct location so what you do is you select both markers, so my, my apologies, you select just the one marker and you notice it's got a rotate key, so you'll rotate and you see it'll snap. So these will just snap, grab the end marker again and we're going to move it to the right position and we're going to drag it through the building. Likewise, grab this marker, rotate it and snap it. So you can see that this, this elevation should be in that direction. And I'm going to grab this marker and I'm going to move it over here because technically we're looking over here and we're looking this deep. And I'm going to move this hole. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so elevation marker has two markers. It's got a body and then it's got a, a location marker. So it's got a body marker and a location marker. Okay, so I'm going to grab just this body again. I'm going to rotate this till it snaps. You'll see that it'll automatically snap. Um, to the project north orientation so grab the the marker itself i'm going to move this over here drag this through and i'm just going to drag select everything and then just pull this in this direction so this grab the back body rotate it you'll see it automatically snap i'm just sorting out these views and i'm going to grab this information i'm going to move this from there to there good all right now because in this file I created a mass, I need to fix my mass. Now, if you've created a mass, the quickest way to fix your mass, if it was, if you followed this line, is that you need to go and show masses. You need to select your mass object and you need to edit in place. Okay, now in 3D view, you'll notice when you've created a mass, you're going to have a top face and you're going to have a bottom face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab a couple times until I select the top face and I'm going to go and say edit profile okay I'm going to delete the profile however I'm going to go back to the site the site view and now I'm going to trace so snap end so snap end I'm going to trace 
the new straight outline just remember if you haven't drawn this information you can fix this another method but this is the quickest way to fix it snap end I was just using this example snap end and here I can go snap end good now I can just simply go and close this loop good now that I've fixed the shape you can see the inaccuracies I'm going to grab all this line work and I'm going to use the copy command then I'm going to finish the command now you'll notice that your mass will have these strange angles because the top this top face has been fixed the bottom face is still inaccurate so I'm going to tab until I select the bottom face I'm going to go and say edit profile again and I'm going to delete everything go back to the site view and now I'm going to simply use the paste and align to current view command so what it's done is it's copied the top shape and it's going to replace the bottom shape with exactly the same shape and you'll notice now that my building will be perfectly square okay so my building will be perfectly square again and I can simply save and this would have fixed all my flaws so all of these flaws would have been updated to match my mass just remember not all of you are using masses so if you're not using masses just go and fix so set up each one of these views and just remember the site file you can actually copy so control C I would pin this location so it doesn't move and on any one of these levels you can simply paste a line to current view and you can make sure that this is foreground or background because I've linked this in the view only so you can duplicate this and use this again and again so that you make sure that you can fix your floor areas so that it lines up with the site cadastral information okay all right so that's how you go and fix your drawings and you're going to simply save this and then carry on once you've addressed and you can see all these markers are moved now so I can move this information put this in the right location so now it just means if I go to my elevations I'll be looking at my information correctly so that's all that I've done by fixing the elevation markers okay so then you can start addressing these levels and start getting your, your elevation set up better okay so that's why I rotated the elevation markers Alright, I hope this has helped.